So we need macaroni, some cheddar, sharp cheddar, smooth gouda, and a stick of butter. We'll start by grating our cheese. As you can probably tell, I'm not the world's most experienced chef. I am still a kid, and I do not know how to grate. This is taking too long, so let's use some magic. It's done! Now that we're done shredding our sharp cheddar, let's shred our gouda next. We're gonna use magic again. See, it's done! Now that we're done shredding, we'll mix the cheeses together. measuring cup and mix so remember to make this we need two cups of sharp cheddar and half a cup of gouda you can replace the cheeses with any cheese you like now to cook the pasta we'll add our oil just a bit don't add too much Remember, always have an adult to help you when you're handling hot water. Next, we'll add some salt. Add a bunch of salt. We need to add a lot of salt. Because salt is very important. Salt, we'll add our macaroni. Pour it all in. Yep. The bowl is getting steamy. There we go. Now, we'll wait for it to cook. So, when you're cooking your macaroni, remember to stir it so that uh, the heat is evenly distributed. It Stir preferably using a large flat surface is so that it's easier to scoop up the macaroni and move it to a different place. But don't disturb the water too much while you're doing that. Every now and then, feel your macaroni when it's cooking so that you know when to take it out. Usually, you should cook it for five to eight minutes. While you're cooking, you might want to entertain yourself by saying jokes or listening to music. The music Here's a joke. Why did the turtle cross the road? Because it was the chicken's day off. <laughs> What kind of music do you guys like? Let me know in the comment section. Now that our macaroni is done cooking, we'll put it in a bowl and set it aside for now. Uh oh, accident. Oops, well accidents happen. That's inevitable. If you don't have an oven, buy yourself of some um, store-bought macaroni and cheese sauce. But if you do, preheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius and wait. 
In the meantime, let's get to work on our sauce. Now we'll take our butter. It's pretty oily. So try not to get it all over your hands like me. <clears throat> Cut out a bit. How much? How Just much do you need? And we need two tablespoons of it. Okay, so for this, we need two tablespoons of butter. Cut off about two tablespoons and put the butter into your pan. Turn on the pan. We'll take our we'll butter and we'll melt it. We'll melt our butter, but keep stirring it to ensure that it doesn't get burnt. When your butter is fully melted, add some flour to make a roux. So we'll add some flour to make a roux. I'm not sure if this is too much. We can see. Next, we'll take our milk and add it to our sauce. I'm not sure if I added too much. I think I did, but you can't turn back. Can you clean up, please? Yes, yeah, sure, I'll clean up later. I think I'm at, my butter's burning. Gotta mix it quick. Fast, fast, fast. Okay, so now we will finally add our cheese. So now we'll add our cheese. Add a bit at a time so the cheese can slowly melt into the sauce. you're in a hurry, like me, just add all of your cheese in one go. Now we wait for the cheese to melt. Do we increase the speed a bit? I think so. So our cheese is kind of stretchy now. I'm not sure if that's what it works, how it works, but I think that it's going along fine. When your cheese is fully melted, stir it around with your sauce. But mine is not fully melted yet, so you should know that. Take note of that. And make sure that every chunk of cheese is you have is melted or else your mac and cheese will have lots of small chunks of cheese inside did the sauce look done then we'll melt it Mm 
you with so much calorie. My goodness. This sauce looks about done to me. So let's stop the heat. Now, we'll take our casserole dish okay. and add our macaroni inside. You can just pour in, I think. So, see ya. If you're impatient, you can pour it in, but some macaroni might fall out. sauce in our macaroni a bit. Ugh. This is a bit difficult. <laughs> so lucky that we're going to Still feeling that. Okay. In the middle. Now oh, we'll let it bake for 30 minutes. Okay, now we'll wait for it to bake. Wow. Our mac and cheese is done. Now it's time to play and serve. Daddy. You want to eat mac and cheese? 